अल्ट्रासाउंड गाइडेड एस्पिरेशन भी कर सकते हैं और उससे अगर तीन चार बार आप अल्ट्रासाउंड गाइडेड एस्पिरेशन कर चुके हैं इन इट इज नॉट क्योर सिंस द एक्सेस इज देयर देन यू हैव टू गो फॉर अल्ट्रासाउंड गाइडेड एस्पिरेशन ये इंसिजन एंड फिनिश कर सकते हैं अच्छा इधर आपके पास ये एक्सेस आपको नजर आई दैट इज अ स्किन एसोसिएटेड एक्सेस एंड दिस इज अ लैक्टेशनल एक्सेस दिस इज अ सेंट्रल और सब एनिवलर एक्सेस एंड दिस इज द पेरिफेरल पेरिफाइनल एक्सेस है Now the management here, we have to tell you one recommended treatment includes antibiotics, ultrasound evaluation, and fluid is present. Ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration of the abscess with an eighteen gauge needle under saline lavage and treat here. Or here again, fluid is also present. Or pus is also present. That's sent for culture and sensitivity. And we can also the antibiotic therapy of the mother. Uh, according to the culture and sensitivity report, in this case, definitely we have to start the patient on empirical therapy. Okay, team. At follow up, if you have given the baby antibiotics or aspiration, then we have a follow up mammography is performed if the condition has resolved. Otherwise, the ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration with lavage and microbiological analysis is repeated. If three to five aspirations still do not resolve the condition, percutaneous drainage in combination with a placement of an indwelling catheter is indicated. Leave it open. A catheter will be placed. So continuous drainage will be done. Surgical resection of the inflamed lactiferous duct can also be done. Okay, sir. 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 Okay, s
treatment. Broad spectrum antibiotics and wait for cultures. Achha, chha, investigation is on one scene. Karwate. First is the high vision swab and endosomical swab. I have told you about it. I have told you that one of the causes of infection of the wound. A wound. Sorry, that is the uterus or vagina. So you take the vaginal swab because you are doing the pelvic examination repeatedly to check whether the patient is in labor or not or progression is in labor or not. So there is always a focus of infection there. Um, because of the raw uh, material, blood clots, tissue hai. they are very difficult to meet for bacteria and organs. So we have to take the hydrogen swab and endocervical swab and send them for culture and sensitivity both for aerobic and anaerobic media. And team can catch midstream specimen of urine because the fever can also be because of the urinary tract infection. You can advise the patient and when you are introducing and the quarantine inside the urethra, it can result in infection. So rule out that our cosmetine and specimen of urine detain and for culture and sensitivity. Blood for total and differential white cell count, complete blood count, complete blood count, so hemoglobin, white cell count, platelet count. If the platelet count is uh, because of the DIC, that is a discriminated interest of obviously septic yeah. Thick blood cream should be examined from malarial parasites. Actually, blood culture, even if it's located in which is a virus of blood culture, can also be sent. Pelvic ultrasound to detect any retained products of conception. Where you have products of conception, blood clots, there are very good culture making for bacteria. So always go for the pelvic ultrasound scan because you have products of conception are not present to any or to locate any abscess within the pelvis or collect samples from the pelvis for culture and sensitivity. And for color flow doctors are to detect venous thrombosis. Leg color you can go for a venous thrombosis case. A venous color flow doctor karvate hai for the legs we need to find out any deep venous thrombosis in the legs. CT and MRI is needed especially when diagnosis is in doubt or there is pelvic vein thrombosis. X-ray rule out chest infection uh, like the collapse and adelectasis after the inhalational anesthesia. Urient electrolytes to detect if renal failure develops later in the course of the disease or uh, the leprotomy. Many persons have to do all investigations, but you have not, um, not come to any conclusion or you are not been able to find out any diagnosis and you have to go for the leprotomy to further examine the abdominal organs. So, we are opening up of the abdomen to look for the abdominal cavity organs. Now coming to the treatment for the medical management of this virtual pyrexium, ideal antibiotic treatment has, it depends on the cultural sensitivity report. But since I have already told you that before the cultural sensitivity report comes, it takes about five to seven days in our hospital setup and um, it might take 48 hours as well. So during that time we have to the vision on antibiotics. These are always empirical treatments. Empirical means that the most probable organism that you are thinking of, you start the antibiotic phase that. So most probably is the gentamicin for the Estesia coli, gentamicin, 900 milligrams, 8 hours. And to cover the anaerobic organisms, we start in metronidazole, so that is a flagell. We can also combine the gentamicin and the astronam. Ampicillin or gentamicin combination, they are just a combination of epiprocillin, tezobectum or carbifenum, he they just him. Those women who are suffering from MRSA, that is a methicillin, Existing streptococcal aureus infection should be treated with the vancomycin or tocoplanin. Stitches of the perineal wound could be infected, they can be opened. Uh, if you suspect or on the examination, you find out that the wound of the epidurophy is infected, just open up the wound and let it heal by the secondary intention. If there is any abscess, go for the incision and drainage or is it a to them. Similarly, if the cesarean section of the wound is low infected, just open it up on the development, remove all the slough from there and leave it open. They use to clean the office second intentions on the clean of the name. Surgical evacuation can be done if they are retained products of conception in neutral, so you can go for surgical evacuation, that is ENC or DNC. Colpotomy, if you are suspecting some type of the abscess in the pelvic cavity, you can go for colpotomy. Colpotomy is an incision which is given through the posterior cortex and you insert a needle through that to aspirate if there is any pus or not, or any fluid over there or not. If there is any fluid, you have to aspirate that you him or if there is a cure, you have to go for laparotomy and finally the hysterectomy.
ये जो बोन का बोन का इन्फेक्शन है तो प्लेसेंटल साइट ऑफ ड्रॉ बोन टू बी गेपिंग वेन्स ऑफ्लूडेड बाय ट्रॉम बाय ये है जो वेन्स है अ गुड कल्चर मीडियम जहाँ के व्यक्ति ये ग्रो कर सकते हैं द सर्विक्स इज नीडी ऑलवेज टॉन इवन इन दी नॉर्मल पार्चुएशन ये है जो सर्विक्स जाहिर बात है जहाँ पे आपने डिलीवरी करवाई है रिपीटेड विशानल एग्जामिनेशन दर ए वेरी गुड सोर्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग द इन्फेक्शन इन द मदर अविजाना इज ऑफन टॉन और इन्वॉल्व इन दिजियोटनी सोर्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन नेक्स्ट जो सर मेंटल इलेसेस और इसमें तीन चीज़ें हैं जो मेंटल इलेसेस में पोस्ट पार्टम ड्यूज है पोस्ट पार्टम डिप्रेशन एंड पोस्ट पार्टम साइकोसिस पोस्ट पार्टम ड्यूज हमेशा डिलीवरी के अर्ली डेज में होते हैं फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू डेज से लेके टू वीक्स के अंदर अंदर फर्स्ट टू डेज से लेके टू वीक्स के अंदर अंदर टू वीक्स के अंदर अंदर पेशेंट को पोस्ट पार्टम साइकोसिस भी डिवेलप हो सकता है लेकिन उसके सिम्टम्स आर अभी डिफरेंट फ्राम पोस्ट पार्टम ड्यूज पोस्ट पार्टम ड्यूज के सिम्टम्स बहुत माइल्ड होते हैं और सेल्फ रिजॉल्विंग भी होते हैं लेकिन ओनली भी रिजॉल्व अगर आप पेशेंट की जस्ट काउंसलिंग करें इंटरपर्सनल थेरेपी कर सकते हैं सोशल ग्रुप्स जैसे होते हैं उनके साथ उनका कॉन्टैक्ट करा दें या फिर जो आपके पास अगली कॉग्नेटिव बिहेवियरल थेरेपी कर सकते हैं दिस आर वेरी मच इफेक्टिव बट इन दी केस ऑफ पोस्ट पार्टम अगर साइकोसिस है तो पेशेंट कैन एंड अप एंड सुइसाइडल अटैम्प्ट भी हो सकती हैं तो इट हैज़ टू बी ट्रीटेड इन कोलेबोरेशन विद साइकेट्रिस्ट साइकेट्रिस्ट को अपने जरूर इन्वॉल्व करना बीच में पेशेंट ऑन एंटी साइकोटिक्स एंड वायरल द पेशेंट इज ऑन एंटी साइकोटिक्स या कोई और ऐसे एंटीबायोटिक्स ले रहा है वेलेरी ही है विच कैन बी हिजर्डिस फॉर द बेबी तो बेस्ट रीडिंग इज वॉट वाई इंडिकेटेड इन ऑल दीज कंडीशन पोस्ट पार्टिंग ड्यूज की हम बात जब करें तो पोस्ट पार्टिंग ड्यूज कैन अगर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू डेज टू द फर्स्ट टू वीक्स और फर्स्ट टू वीक्स के बाद पोस्ट पार्टिंग डिप्रेशन के सिम्टम्स आते हैं अगर फर्स्ट टू सिम्टम्स आर डिवेलप आफ्टर फर्स्ट टू वीक्स इट मीन दीज आर सिम्टम्स ऑफ डिप्रेशन विच कैन परसिस टिल सिक्स मंथ्स और इवन लॉन्गर पोस्ट पार्टिंग जो ब्लूज है सम पीपल आर प्रोन टू एच If in the previous pregnancy or in the during she had the postpartum illness, so she is more prone to develop it. If she has some psychological illness, she is more prone to develop it. Other than that, if the child's IU day ho gaye, then her death ho gayi hai, still birth ho gaya hai, ya miscarriage ho gaya uska, ya baby is malformed, ya has some congenital abnormality, so she is more prone to develop these symptoms as compared or this syndrome as compared to the other women who are normal. Uh, Postpartum views of small as baby views and maternity views is a very common but self-limited condition that we begins shortly after childbirth and can present with a variety of symptoms such as mood swings, irritability, and cheerfulness. Mothers may experience negative mood symptoms mixed with intense periods of joy. Up to 85% of the new mothers are affected by postpartum views. With symptoms starting within a few days after childbirth and lasting up to two weeks in duration. Symptoms may change. One point can be affected. Many symptoms of postpartum views overlap both with normal symptoms experienced by the new parents. So these symptoms most commonly develop after first delivery. And uh, with the postpartum depression, individuals with postpartum views have symptoms that are milder and less disruptive to their daily functioning compared to those with postpartum depression. The symptoms are very mild and self-limiting, and in 80 to 90 percent of the cases, you don't have to do anything. You just counsel the patient and her partner, and the symptoms resolve. You don't have to give any uh, anti uh, for any medicines. For Or antipsychotics, or antidepressants, or anti-psychotics. Symptoms क्या क्या हो सकते हैं? Tearfulness or crying for no reason, mood swings, कभी खुश है, कभी एक दम जो है वो बहुत रोना शुरू कर देती है, कभी गुस्से में आ जाती है. Anxiety है उसको. Questioning one's ability to care for the baby. Difficult making choices. Difficulty making choices. Loss of appetite, fatigue. Difficulty sleeping. Difficulty concentrating. Negative mood symptoms. And interspersed with positive symptoms. Onset of postpartum views generally begin within a few days of childbirth and often peak by day four or five. They may last a few days, up to two weeks. If symptoms last more than two weeks, the individual must be evaluated for postpartum depression. बेटे मैं एक बार फिर रिपीट कर रही हूँ कि पहले दो दिन से लेके अगर दो हफ्तों तक जो symptoms appear होते हैं, these symptoms are mostly of 
um, postpartum blues and they dissolve by four to fifth day, but they, they do not resolve uh, by two weeks and they are prolonged for more than two weeks, the patient should be evaluated for postpartum depression. But if the first two weeks, the symptoms are very much exaggerated and the most severe pain, the patient uh, she, uh, could have this perpetual uh, psychosis and a psychiatrist should be involved in this case. Treatment care is a self-limited condition. Signs and symptoms are expected to resolve within two weeks of one onset without any treatment. And getting enough sleep, obviously, what are recommendations for us? Getting enough sleep, taking time to relax, and do activities that, are, that you enjoy. Asking for help from family and friends, reaching out to other new parents, ऐसे बहुत से पेरेंट्स जिनके फर्स्ट डिलीवरीज हैं जिनके पहले बच्चे हैं उनसे बात करें ऐसे बाहर के लोगों में बहुत सारे सोशल सपोर्ट ग्रुप्स और उनके कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर्स होते हैं उनके पास यू गिव दोज कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर्स टू दी कपल और उनको कहते हैं जी आप उनसे बात करें एंड यू फील रिलीव अकॉर्डिंग एल्कोहल एंड अदर ड्रग्स एट नंबर्स इन दूथ्योरेंस एट सिम्टम्स आर वेरी कॉमन एंड विल रिजॉल्व ऑन दिन डिप्रेशन Onset kya hai sa? One to six months after delivery. One to six months after delivery. After two weeks till the six months. May last six months or longer. Clinical features kya hai? Sleep, disturbance, depressed mood, social withdrawal, suicidal attempts. Ki har wakat khayal aata rata hai ki jo this bachcha hai, either it is malformed hai, ya usko koi problem hai aur mujhe usko maar dena chahiye. She has such thoughts. Social withdrawal. She doesn't like to talk to anyone. Lack of worthiness about being a mother. That she has no value and nobody is valuing her. Suicidal thoughts. Either killing herself or the baby. Okay, children. Okay, children. Persistent sadness, anxiousness, or empty mood. Three mood swings: frustration, irritability, restlessness, anger, feeling of hopelessness, guilt. shame worthlessness low self esteem numbness emptiness exhaustion inability to be comforted trouble bonding with the baby bachche ka status ka bond hi develop nahi hota she doesn't own the child feeling inadequate in taking care of the baby thoughts of self harm or suicide lack of interest or pleasure in usual activities low or no energy low libido changes in appetite fatigue decrease energy and motivation and poor self care and social withdrawal this can be about the pain onset and duration postpartum depression onset usually begins between 2 weeks to a month after delivery and this is the third time i'm repeating after 2 weeks of delivery till the 6 months that the symptoms of postpartum depression can appear A study done at an intercity mental health clinic has shown that 50% of postpartum depressive episodes they began prior to delivery. ठीक है, began prior to delivery the symptoms. मैंने आपसे बात की थी बिफोर दे पहले कि ऐसे पेशेंट्स जो हैं इधर डिप्रेशन बिफोर के डिलीवरी, जिनको प्रेगनेंसी से पहले भी कोई डिप्रेशन का प्रॉब्लम था, या कोई साइकोट्रिक इलनेस थी, या कोई साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम था, these patients are more prone to develop these symptoms. Not a postpartum depression as compared to the other women. So postpartum depression may last several months or even a year. So postpartum depression can also occur in women who have suffered a miscarriage. So further, several studies show that men experience the highest levels of postpartum depression between three to six months postpartum. Management is the key. You have to. Treatment mild to moderate postpartum depression includes psychological interventions or antidepressants. Women with moderate to severe postpartum depression would likely experience a greater benefit with a combination of psychological and medical interventions. Light aerobic exercise has been found to be useful for mild and moderate cases. So, I have just said earlier that what did he postpartum blues do? It is a self-limiting condition, and 85 to 90 percent of the cases are needed to go and treat the patient. It is very resolved. And if it is not resolved, then we have to do some counseling. It is very resolved. Postpartum depression, which is its own severity, is mild. If we do counseling, it is cured. 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 It
साइकोलॉजिकल थेरेपी दी जाती है उसको उसको कॉग्निटिव भी लेवल की थेरेपी दे सकते हैं आप इंटरपर्सनल थेरेपी दे सकते हैं उसको अगर आपको लगता है सिक्योर नहीं हो रहा तो फिर आप एंटी डिप्रेशेंस दे सकते हैं बट इफ द पेशेंट इज हैविंग मॉडरेट टू सीवियर सिम्टम्स तो उस पे कॉम्बिनेशन आपको देना पड़ता है बोथ साइकोलॉजिकल थेरेपी भी दैट इज द कॉग्निटिव बिहेवियर की थेरेपी और इंटरपर्सनल थेरेपी प्लस द एंटी डिप्रेशंस सो सोशल सपोर्ट रिलैक्सिंग एक्सरसाइजेस काउंसलिंग ऑफ द कपल एंड behavioral therapy cognitive behavioral therapy cbt and interpersonal therapy ipt and antidepressants and follow up now how can we distinguish between the baby blues and postpartum depression so the poor baby blues hai postpartum mental depression and duration kya hai less than 10 days or depression mein more than 2 weeks onset within 2 to 3 days postpartum or depression may occur within first month maybe up to one year prevalence of baby blues is 80% prevalence of depression is 5 to 7% severity it is a mild baby blues are always mild and depression is moderate to severe suicidal ideation is not present in baby blues but it is present in postpartum depression the third entity is postpartum psychosis it is the worst of all it is the worst of all the additional symptoms the patient is having in this apart from all the symptoms above are hallucinations and delusions hallucinations and delusions both the auditory hallucinations or factual hallucinations as well as the visual hallucinations the patient gets the auditory hallucinations to kill the baby go and kill the baby sometimes she thinks that this baby is a culprit sometimes she thinks that this baby is a messiah for her kabhi usko jo hai wo कुछ परसीव करती है कभी कुछ परसीव कर देती है अपने बारे में उसको हेलिसनेशन अजीब हो गई किस्म की हो रही होती है दैट शू आर नॉट अ गुड मदर यू हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू केयर फॉर चाइल्ड वेरी इन अ वेरी गुड वे यू शुड अटेम्प सुइसाइड और इस तरह की चीज़ें विजुअल हेलिसनेशन से फिर उसको मुख्त चीज़ें नजर आना शुरू हो जाती हैं और जहरी बात है जब इन द पेशेंट है दीज सिम्टम इट मीज शी इज डिवेल्ड पोस्ट मार्टम साइकोसिस एंड नाउ इट हैज टू बी ट्रीटेड इन कोलेबोरेशन विद साइकोलॉजिस्ट Now, the postpartum psychosis is a term covering at least 27 mental disorders. Three mental disorders that start at the womb after childbirth. Of these, postpartum bipolar disorder is overwhelmingly the most common in high-income nations. High-income nations, who are the common here, that the bipolar disorder (BPD) is a rare psychiatric emergency beginning suddenly in the first two weeks after childbirth. The term psychosis implies the presence of manic symptoms, stupor or catatonia, perplexity, confusion, disorders of the will and self, delusions or hallucinations. Most important are delusions and hallucinations apart from all the other symptoms. Or what we have already said that the psychosis may it can develop in the first two weeks may develop ho jata hai, but symptoms are very much severe as compared to the blues. and it has to be treated with antipsychotics in collaboration with the psychiatrist symptoms may include hallucinations or delusions commanding the patient to kill the baby delusion baby is a messiah or an embodiment of evil illogical thoughts insomnia inability to sleep irritability confusion memory impairment she has not been able to memorize anything sadness crying spells fatigue exhaustion agitation feelings of anxiety extreme fear and ecstasy irrational and guilt mutism stupor catatonia now how are you going to treat her <coughs> sorry she rapid or immediate hospitalization rapid or immediate hospitalization of the mother if she is thought to pose a threat to baby herself or others आपको बताया है कि शी हैज हेलुसिनेशंस टू किल द बेबी और शी हैज हेलुसिनेशंस के किल योर सेल्फ और इस तरह के एक्टिविटी जो है इंसिडेंट्स सी आल्सो बीन रिपोर्टेड ऑन द इंटरनेट के जो खातून है उसको हेलुसिनेशंस हुई और उसने शी वाज सिटिंग ऑन आई थिंक 11 टू 12 स्टोरी बिल्डिंग में वो रह रही थी और उसने ऊपर से इंसान के काट नीचे से सुसाइड कर दिया सो दीस आर द कॉमन सिम्टम्स मेडिकेशन फार्माकोथेरेपी क्या देंगे एंटीसाइकोटिक ड्रग्स antidepressants and anti anxiety drugs psychological counseling or psychotherapy education for mother and family the family husband or social support 
it is very important to counsel the husband. Did he, your wife is suffering from this psychological illness and these symptoms, and these can be very hazardous for her as well as for the baby. So he has to be with her wife, or with his wife. और उसको काउंसिल करना उसको सपोर्ट करना सोशल सपोर्ट अभी बात की है कि जी इन फॉरेन कंट्रीज में आप भी सोशल सपोर्ट प्रोसेस बनाए हुए हैं जिस तरह अगर किसी मदर का इंजरी के लिए मैल फॉर्म बेबी है तो दे हैव अ ग्रुप जिसमें तमाम वो पेरेंट्स हैं जिनके बच्चे अब नॉर्मल हैं फिर एक सोशल ग्रुप ऐसा बनाया हुआ है जिसके अंदर सारे ऐसे पेरेंट्स हैं जिनके मिसकैरेज हो रहे हैं रिपीटेड फिर एक ऐसा ग्रुप बनाया हुआ है जिसके अंदर वो तमाम पेरेंट्स हैं जिसके बच्चे आई यू डीज होते थे उनका यू पेरेंट डेथ होती थी आज उनके स्टिल बर्थ होते थे दे हैव डिफरेंट नो नेम्स फॉर ऑल दो सोशल सपोर्ट ग्रुप्स और अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन आप पेरेंट्स को उनका कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर दे देते हैं ताकि वो उनके पास जाएँ उनसे बात करें उनसे अपने दिल की बात शेयर करें और इस तरह से उनका जो है बुखार से जुड़ जाता है सपोर्ट को थेरेप स्टेबलिशिंग कॉन्टैक्ट विद अदर मदर्स ई सी टी कॉपरेटिव थेरेपी करेंगे आप रेस्ट एडिकुएट न्यूट्रिशन स्पेशली लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फ्रूट वेजिटेबल वाइटमिन एंड चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन So child protection services should always be there, and discharge should only occur with close follow-up in place. Now the breastfeeding is contraindicated in case of puerperal psychosis. Mothers requiring lithium treatment should be encouraged not to breastfeed due to potential toxicity in the infant. Most antipsychotics are excreted in breast milk, although there is little evidence of it causing problems. Where they are prescribed to breastfeeding women, the baby should be monitored for side effects. Azathine is associated with atrial fibrosis and should not be given to breastfeeding women. So, अभी जो दो दो drugs हैं जिसको उसने यहाँ पे contraindicated कहा है, one is lithium and the other is azathine because it causes the uh, atrial fibrosis. So, it can result in depressed immunity in the baby. अब वो और problem which should be developed first. So, if the patient is on antipsychotics. The breastfeeding is not contraindicated. Breastfeeding is not contraindicated if the patient is on antipsychotics, except a few drugs, that is the lithium and clozapine and a few other drugs. And mother, please counsel her that it is very important to take these drugs. Even if clozapine or lithium is there, if you take these drugs, you will not avoid the breastfeeding. So, for the mother, these drugs are very important. If you take these drugs, there is a very problem for her. It can end up in suicide or killing the baby. It can end up in suicide or killing the baby. It can end up in suicide or killing the baby. It can end up in suicide or killing the baby. So, this was the lecture on the perfusion. We have seen the theme of experience. That is the breastfeeding, the implications of breastfeeding, how to treat them. The second one was the perpetual pyrexia. Its symptoms can be seen, or what could be the source of infection in the case of perpetual pyrexia, and what type of antibiotics we have to take, what investigations we have to offer, and then we have come to the mental illnesses in the postpartum period. Its been the three topics discussed here. There is a postpartum blues and postpartum. Uh, depression and postpartum psychosis or its treatment on the discuss again postpartum blues ke baare mein bataya ki it is a self limiting condition hai it can only be cured itself or just need a uh, counseling with a psychotherapist hai second mein depression hai depression mein aapko jo hai wo agar mild hai you can only give the psychotherapy to the patient or antidepressants but if it is severe or moderate आपको कॉम्बिनेशन देना पड़ता है साइकोथेरेपी प्लस एंटीडिप्रेसेंट्स एंड इन द केस ऑफ द पोस्टपार्टम साइकोसिस द पेशेंट हैज टू बी पुट ऑन एंटीसाइकोटिक्स एंटीडिप्रेसेंट्स एंटी एंजाइटी इन कोलैबोरेशन विद द साइकैट्रिस्ट्स और इसमें काउंसलिंग बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है द पेशेंट शुड ऑलवेज बी हॉस्पिटलाइज्ड हियर वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर अगर आप अपने कोई क्वेश्चंस पूछते हैं